<laughs> that is so cool, honestly. Um, yeah, I wish I had, but like, well done with that. Um, but I guess my question for you to explain to our audience is what do you think of as mental health? So what mental health means to me or what what is mental health? I think more like what does mental health mean like to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mental health to me is it's everything because without having a healthy mind, you really can't do anything. So it's like for me, I see it as like the foundation of life um, and just being able to navigate um, through the trials and tribulations that life might bring you, whether in your career, your personal, your love, um, your family life, like there's so many things that um, can throw you off balance. So for me, like mental health is a foundation to navigate that in the best way that you possibly can. Um, and it's um, it's uh, it's definitely also a, a word which like it brings it brings a lot of like triggering um, events and stuff into to me just because it's been something that I've struggled with a lot. Um, so I see it almost like a timeline when I think about mental health. I see like see it like a journey um, because there's moments in my life where I have where I feel like I'm on top of things and everything's great. I'm doing my five a.m. CEO runs, and there's times that I'm just in bed and I can't get out like like at all, and I'm just crying and thinking, what am I doing with my life? So it's always it's funny because I feel like the the, the that word or that um that phrase has such a range of emotions attached to, to it for me, um, from being amazing and joyous to being actually like de uh, depressing and detrimental. So it just feels like um, something that encompasses life for me. Um, mm -hmm. And it's also something that um, I'm working hard to manage and become a master of and just finding a routine that helps me to help myself and help others. Because I think it's always like a learning process and. It's a, pro it's a process that um, always evolves with the more you know and the more you know about yourself and what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Um, and as I get older, I feel like that's always shifting. Yeah, all right. So I completely agree as well. And I think one thing I did pick up on there was that you were saying like, it's the good experiences, it's the bad experiences, everything. A lot of people, they hear like mental health and they think, oh, it's all the negative. It's like, it's a disorder, it's a depression, it's anxiety, it's, you know, but it's also the good things, the good thing, every, and I think that's like what mental health is, is like, it's a, like you're saying, it's a part of your entire life. It's your experience, it's your mental experience, which is pretty much everything. Like even your physical experiment, experience like impacts and interacts with your mental experience. So like, it's literally just like the all encompassing experience um, that you can't really see. Like, it's not like, it's not tangible it's like emotions it's thoughts it's feelings um and like like what you were saying like yeah you sometimes you're on top of it you're doing those like amazing runs which I've been telling myself I'm gonna do for the last like three months I'm just like gonna wake up early I'm gonna do the run and then I'm just like I wake up I'm just like nah another, another half an hour in bed and I'll be <laughs> don't even have time for breakfast sometimes but yeah it's uh <laughs> it's one of those things but then also you were saying about like the complete opposite like feeling like stuck in bed feeling like there's no motivation to get out again like that's part of this, like this struggle that you're saying that is your mental health battle and I think that like everyone's got their like battle and some for some people it might be a really subtle one it might be just very small things for some people it's a lot um but I really respect that people like see it as their battle to face and 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 like equip themselves with like the tools to like fight those kind of things it's, and like helping people do that which you do is like one of the best things that you can do for people really like you can give someone like food you can give like if they've got like a cut whatever you can give them a bandage or whatever but I mean like helping someone with their mental health which you're you're doing with music which we which you've done like around the uni like is honestly it like changes people's lives in a way that they can't even see it themselves like and I don't think anyone can see it so but yeah no definitely I, I agree with what you're saying um it's yeah it's a, I think I, I just wanted to pick up on what you said about um having battles and like different battles and some people might be small and some people might be big and I think one thing that definitely came up for me is that those battles definitely change as well um and you can start off with like small battles and then something could happen you get a phone call and you're faced with like a, a really big battle yeah. um, and that's often when people say like they didn't understand what mental health was until like they were faced with something like really traumatic and they were like oh, okay like you know mental health is actually important because <laughs> I think if you haven't really dealt with like, like a huge hardship or adversity 
um, for a long period of time or like for, for in, in a certain, in the beginning yeah. of your life or something like that, then maybe um, it's something that you don't really think about until you you face something like quite difficult. And um, yeah, those things are always changing. So um, I think I'm just making that point just because, yeah, I think it's it's okay to um, to have those moments because we will all experience them at one point or another. Um, mm -hmm. so, it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not be okay, girl. You know? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>